Good morning, Audacious Church. My name is Matt DeVille and myself and my wife, Lindsay, we are the South Location Pastors for Audacious Church, loving being a part of South and all God is doing there and watching it grow and thrive as Audacious does. This is a brand new day today and we know that a brand new day is always an opportunity for God to do something new. We've not been here before, we don't know this way. And I just want to uh, invite you to expect new things in this day. I want to share some thoughts and a couple of verses that have been a great encouragement to me. And I know that they will be to you also. And uh, let me start by saying when I was around the age of about 11 or 12, I remember my parents would take me to church, but I hadn't made a response to Christ at that point. But I remember having this thought, I believe in God, yet if God is real, why are none of my friends connected into church and connected to God? It was a few years later, at the age of 15, I remember where I was sat when I gave my life to Christ and, and experienced him for the first time. Um, but even then, being a part of a great youth group, I remember in my late teens having that same question, where are the guys? Where are the guys in church? I want to connect with others. Like I read about in the Bible, the relationships with David and Jonathan, I want that for myself. I want to experience that brotherhood, that fellowship, that friendship. But where is it? But this time in my late teens, I prayed this prayer. God, would you bring those relationships into my world? I need those relationships. I want those relationships. I don't know what they look like. I don't know who it is, but God, would you do them? And uh, God, I believe God miraculously brought a couple of relationships into my path, not from my church, but from other churches in the city where I lived at the time that were miraculous, that were God inspired and that brought heaps of fun, but also inspired me to get into the word of God and the fellowship was that that lasts a lifetime. And here we are, 25 years later, We the three of us live in different locations, but our friendship is for eternity. And that's what I want you to believe for in your, in your life right now, whether you would say I'm a person who's got great relationships or a person who's saying, you know what, I want, I like what you're saying, I want some of that. I want you to be praying that prayer again afresh and new today. God, would you bring in those life-giving relationships? Proverbs chapter 17 Verse 17 says, a friend loves at all times and a brother is born for adversity. See, I've known friendship and I've known friendship in advers adversity not so long ago. In fact, as we were getting into lockdown, I was working crazy. I was in a difficult job, working long hours, getting home late, not seeing the kids some days. And, uh, but I just thought that's what I was supposed to be doing. I was quite disconnected and I remember hitting a point where three or four months into that lockdown, working silly hours, my boss came to me and said, I'm afraid we're going to have to let you go. And I was like, wow, I don't believe this. And I remember not long after that, getting a phone call from Pastor Paul Reed, and he said to me, hey, I've heard the news that you're going to lose your job. And I'm just checking in, just seeing how you're doing. So he was a friend in adversity. Um, and I said, you know what? I'm not worried about the job. I just believe that God has got something for me. I'm not worried about that. But what is a concern to me is that I am disconnected. I remember an internal conversation that I'd not had since I was 11 or 12 that was, I could walk away from church. I did when I was in 11 or 12, but I'd not had that thought since. And I remember thinking, wow, I can't believe that I'm thinking that church has been such an important part of my life. But I was so disconnected. And so Pastor Paul said to me, said, Come on, let's go for go for a walk. So we went for a walk a few days later and we went for a walk for an hour. And he, he to be uh, fair, he listened. I talked a lot and we cried and we prayed. And we did that week after week, went for walks. And that was brotherhood in adversity. And I would say that that saved my faith at that moment in time and ushered in a new season, which led us into being South Location Pastors. A friend loves at all times and a brother is born for adversity. Proverbs chapter 18 verse 24 says, A man who has many friends must himself be friendly, but there is a friend that sticks closer than a brother. Just before I close and pray for you, let me just tell you 
a couple of weeks ago, I was in a south location. It was near the end of the meeting. We were having a time of encounter and Pastor Darren Durham was preaching. He laid hands on me. And I remember being filled with the Holy Spirit like I needed in that moment, like I'd not experienced for years. I was floored. I was supposed to be leading the meeting, but I was out on the floor just enjoying the presence of God like I'd not experienced for years because the Holy Spirit knew that's what I needed in that moment. I want to encourage you today to uh, expect and believe again and pray, God, would you bring into my world life-giving relationships? And I want to encourage you to pray uh, for the Holy Spirit to come into your world afresh and anew. Let me pray for you, church. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Lord, for every listening ear right now. I pray that you would usher in a new season of life-giving relationships and that we would welcome you, Holy Spirit, into our world in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> Church, have the best day. Love you loads and uh, hope to see you real soon. But have an amazing day.